Today, I am going to reveal three indicators that you must consider using in your trading strategy if you want to conquer the Forex markets next year. I have searched and studied through hundreds, if not thousands of indicators this year, and the ones you are about to see are a few of the best. From an entry and confirmation indicator to a volume, these three indicators I am about to show you are completely free and you can implement them onto your charts instantly. I will give you my personal recommendation for each of these indicators so you can get the best out of them. And make sure to watch right to the end as I will reveal my favorite settings for the volume profile. And trust me, this will save you months of work. So let's begin with today's video. The first indicator today is a buy and sell entry indicator called the one-sided Gaussian filter. It can be added to your chart by going up to the indicator tab and searching for the one-sided, and the one we are looking for is this top one, by locks. As you can see it's really easy to follow the buy and sell signals, as not only does the indicator line and bar change color at the signal, but you also receive an alert. The main benefit of using this indicator is that it issues really accurate and early signals in trending markets. This is great because it allows you to make the most amount of profits in each trade you take. In my opinion, this indicator works best trading 4x on any time frame above 1 hour when the markets are less volatile. However, it can be used on lower time frames like the 15-minute chart if you go into the settings of the indicator and increase the extra smoothing period. This will really help you avoid excessive false signals when the market is moving sideways and choppy. As for the indicator settings in general, there are a few options you can alter to suit to your style of trading. Personally, I believe you get the best results when you increase the Gaussian level's depth whilst keeping the extra smoothing low. And it's essential not to dismiss these two settings because they control the bands either side of the indicator, which can be really helpful whilst trading. For example, if I increase the ATR multiplier, the band's distance from the indicator increases. A simple rule you can apply for this is to not trade any signals that occur outside of the bands. This is because price has traveled too far already, meaning it's less likely to hit our take profit as we are late to the trend. Overall, this indicator is brilliant to use as a main entry indicator in your trading. However, you will always receive some false and bad signals, and the only way to remove them is with a trend confirmation or filter indicator, which I will teach you in just a moment. But first, if you are in this game for real and want to escape your 9 to 5 and make a living out of trading, you must be using the best broker. With over 7 million clients, I personally use Insta Forex to trade with. They have a great choice of leverage and instruments to trade. Not to mention you can also hold all your investments in one place here too. They were voted the best Forex broker and international investor this year, so I highly recommend using them. Plus if you sign up now, they will give you a 30% welcome bonus on your deposit. So literally, if you deposit $1,000, they will give you an extra $300 to trade with. And on top of that, you can take part in contests for prizes, no matter if you are a beginner or an expert. For example, right now if you sign up and deposit just $1,000, you have a chance of winning a Ferrari F8 Tributo. There are 900 others currently in this contest who have just signed up, so don't miss out, because there's a load of other bonuses and contests throughout the year as well. To sign up right now, use the link down in the description. So now let's take a look at the second indicator in this video. It's called the AC-MACD, and it's this one here by Algo Kid. Understanding this indicator is very simple. When the dots turn green, that indicates we are in a bullish uptrend. And when they turn red, we are in a bearish downtrend. Now, the AC-MACD is a new and improved version of the original MACD. The difference is it has this new channel area, which filters false signals from the original MACD really well. For example, during this downtrend, there are multiple buy and sell signals which are not very accurate. But if you go into the settings and increase the BB periods, let's say to 60, for example, you can avoid all the false buy signals within this longer term downtrend. Whilst most importantly, you still get a really good entry point before the momentum begins. Like I mentioned earlier, it's important to not use any of these indicators on their own, as they will get screwed in the ranging market. So the best option is to combine this indicator with the one-sided Gaussian filter, which we just looked at. This idea would consist of the AC-MACD simply confirming the buy-sell indicator signal to increase the overall accuracy and reliability of both indicators. For example, when the main buy-sell indicator gives this sell signal, look down to the AC-MACD, and it must be bearish to confirm the signal. Then, when it gives the next buy signal, the AC-MACD must be green. In this case it's not, which prevents us from taking a loss. 
Okay so now let's get into the final indicator in this video, and arguably, the best. It's a volume profile indicator that is practically guaranteed to remove losses from any trend trading strategy. If you search for the JCF box volatility, it's this one here, by LOX. Now, just from looking at this, it does not look very easy to understand. That's because this tool is not a buy-sell indicator. It is primarily used to filter out ranging markets. The indicator turns green when it moves above the trigger line and it will show a little yellow V. This means there is momentum and volume in the asset you are trading, which ultimately means there is volatility to profit from. It has a good range of settings so you can personalize it to your other indicators. Also if you turn on the bar color, it will literally identify on the chart where the ranging market and trending market is. So you can only trade the trends that will make the most amount of profits. For example, let's say the one-sided Gaussian filter is the buy-sell entry indicator of the strategy. No matter whether it signals a buy or sell trade, the JCF box must be green to confirm entering the trade. This will make sure you only enter trades that have lots of momentum, whilst reducing the trades that just move sideways. So now for those of you who have watched this far, to trade Forex major currency pairs, these are my favorite settings to use. Increase the depth value to 30, and the signal period to 100. This volume can definitely be used for stocks and crypto too, but a slight setting adjustment is probably required. And if you need another great idea to avoid entering trades in sideways and ranging markets, check out this video which will take you through a step-by-step -step process for adding one of the best volume indicators into your own strategy instantly. Otherwise thank you for watching today's video.